So I'm just going to share a little bit with you about the, uh, the final sort of uh, evolution of, of sacred sounds, which is mantras. I mentioned in the beginning the, the etymology of mantra means man meaning mind and tra meaning to rescue or as an instrument. So these are instruments for, for getting your mind in tune. And uh, different ways people chant mantras, these are uh, japa beads. So this is in the, in the Vaishnavic tradition. You uh, chant rounds on these beads, which is just another form of meditation that kind of keep track of how many rounds you're doing. And uh, this is like, japa is, is kind of quiet, personal chanting, where you're just you know, chanting a mantra in the morning on your beads. The other way is kirtan, which I know some of you were, were here enjoying this blissful Sri Kala's kirtan that we've been doing. Um, and that's the singing, the call and response singing of mantras. Really, really raises the energy and gets a good momentum with all the music and the harmony of the instruments, the rhythm of it. And uh, bhajans are just sung forms of mantras. Um, so there's mantras for, for different purposes, uh, different deities, which, you know, different deities that control different aspects of, of, of the universe. So, you know, say you wanted more abundance in your life, you might chant Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha to Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance. Or if you wanted love or, or health, you know, there's, there's millions of deities. But um, one mantra I'd like to share with you is the universal happiness mantra. Erase this. It's, uh, it's only four words. It's Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. So this means, may all beings everywhere in all worlds be happy and free. This is a, a declaration of universal happiness to all beings in the universe, including yourself. So, <laughs> sometimes we forget about, about that. But um, some of the translations of it are, may all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life in some way to that universal well-being and happiness or may all beings have happiness and the sources of happiness may all beings be free from suffering and the sources of suffering may all beings dwell in equanimity free from attachment and aversion and so I've, I've, I've spent a, a few years kind of memorizing these mantras and kind of integrating them into my being by the daily practice of them and it's just it's really helpful. Um, so this can be sung, uh, or it can be chanted. We can, we can try a couple of the different ways. So the singing way is, uh, they, they do this in the beginning of Jivan Mukti Yoga. Uh, it's like, Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta words and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that well-being, that happiness from Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti means peace. Peace, peace, and peace. Or, you know, if you were chanting it, you'd be like, it's just it's 
another method of, of uh, concentrating the mind to free yourself from worries or desires. Um, okay, so I'd like to read this, this quote um, that's along these same lines. I really like this. It's called, it's, um, it goes like this. The more knowledge we acquire, the more mystery we find. A human being is a part of the whole called by us the universe, a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separate from the rest, a kind of optical illusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Nobody is able to achieve this completely, but the striving for such achievement is in itself a part of the liberation and the foundation for inner security. That's a quote by Albert Einstein. I heard he was pretty smart, so he stands for something. But, um, the, uh, the final mantra that I will share with you, um, we, we were working with this mantra a lot in Kirtan. This is known as the Maha Mantra, which means the, the Great Mantra. It's said to contain all of the energies of all of the other thousands of mantras. Uh, in these the three words, in a pattern, the three words are Hare, Krishna, and Rama. And so, Hare means uh, the energies of Krishna, the, the feminine form of, of God, the, the divine in the feminine. And uh, the Krishna, the word Krishna is a word for God. Uh, it means all attractive. Um, so this is, and then Rama means the, the reservoir of all pleasures. So as you chant Hare Krishna, you're, it's the, the union, the divine union of masculine and feminine. <coughs> the love of a mother for a child, the, the love of a man for a woman, uh, familial love, and the love of uh, devotion. If you, uh, if you think of the divine as a, a personal form, then it's that sort of devotional love. And Rama is getting in touch with that pleasure, the bliss of that, that nectar of devotion. So, Hare Krishna, the, the pattern is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So it's a, it's a very well balanced uh, pattern, and it's 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 very like I don't want to say like hypnotic, but you know it kind of really gets your mind into a nice rhythm, a nice uh, connection with, with that sort of loving mentality. So. Can everybody uh, remember that, that pattern? As we start doing it, you kind of fall into it, the, the rhythm of it, and then soon you realize you're just joyous and ecstatic and not worrying or caring about anything. It's just, hare, hare. So, builds up that kind of energy. So, so we'll, uh, we'll chant this. For a Actually, let's, let's sing it. Let's, let's really raise our, our vibration right here. <laughs> Which I think is a good tune. Okay, I'm going to go with the, uh, the traditional, it's, it's kind of a loving, it gives me that kind of loving feeling. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, in Kirtan, it follows a, a call and response pattern. So I would call it out, and then everyone as a group would respond. And that way you get the perfect balance of singing, which is giving, and you know, resting, which is receiving. So, when you're when you're listening, you're just kind of focusing on those divine ancient words. And then when you're when you're, when you're singing it, you're harmonizing the, the, the 
divine, you harmonize with each other, and just feeling that divine vibration. So we'll just do this for a little bit. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.
practice at the Columbus Krishna House. We practice uh, mantra, mantra meditation kirtan every, every Thursday, followed by a free vegetarian feast for any Columbus people that live here. Uh, there's one in Athens, too. Um, a devotee named uh, Sri Kishore does one in Athens. There are, there are Vaishnava communities in, in every country and many states, so if anybody is interested in chanting with groups. Yes? Can you repeat the Andean mantras again? The Quechua? Which mantra? The Quechua mantras? Yes. I was going to, yeah, I'll, I'll write them down too. So, the, uh, there's three, there's really, there's five um, principles of, of Andean, the Andean way. I'm, I'm just covered three within this workshop, which is the love one, uh, Unai, and then the reciprocity one is Aini, and then the Mother Earth is Pachamama. Thank you. <laughs> Like I was saying in the beginning, this this kind of using sound to tap into the divine and to heal yourself is used in, in a lot of different cultures. You know, like every culture has sung um, you know, drumming instruments and singing as a way of prayer and communion. Um, this is from the Andean uh, South American tradition. This is Quechua. And uh, you know, like sometimes we do like sweat lodges and we have the Native American like singing and it's very like like howling like like wolves like the hi 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 and then, you know the, the Indian tradition has the homing and it's all just you know it's all just vibrations because really all of us like our bodies like I, I was speaking about the, the cosmos the, the planets it's all just vibrating at, at different frequencies and so when we when we join our frequencies and we harmonize together it, it really builds a lot of power. Did you want to chant these? Yeah, okay. I want to go to the crystal workshop, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. So it's, um, mm -hmm. it's kind of it's kind of fun to do the, it's like a low, it's like a guttural, it's in the, the, the Andean way, it's like, you kind of like really feeling that, that power. The I me is the reciprocity, so it's today for you, tomorrow for me, just kind of, Giving, receiving. So, if anyone wants to join in this vibration, oh. Earth, animals, our fellow people, 
social love is very nice. so much for us. Pachamama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoying your new life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.